Oh, what's up, squidgy slingers and water-fed pole wiggling wagglers, and welcome to Trad Dog. Give me a paw. Good boy. Well done. Trad Dog and I are going to help you to keep track of your owing list. So the people, the companies, and the residential clients that you have worked for, provided a service for, using Squeegee app in today's video, we're gonna show you how to keep track of all the people that are due you money and how to send them reminders. So stay tuned. So, to keep track of your clients, do you find sometimes on some evenings and weekends that this is you? Oh, right, now who's, who's due me money? Who's, who's due me money this week? I don't, I'm sure it's on page, so 300 and, 200 and, aye, oh, the, aye, I think these folk are due me money, aren't they? They're due me money, but yeah, okay. What about this, these ones? Okay, they're due me, all right, I'll have to go out and collect money from them. Uh, right, okay, I'll have to phone them. Okay, I'll have to collect money from them. In this day and age, we've got a lot of good, useful tools out there that can help us to eliminate the time wasted on pen and paper, things that were great in, the, in their time, but there's much better and quicker, more efficient ways. So let's get shot at that and get on to Squeegee app and show you how to keep track of your owing list in a nice, simple way. Okay, now we've got a shot of the old pen and paper. Let's bring in my laptop. Okay, so if you haven't heard of Squeegee App before, Squeegee App's the all-in-one business software. So no matter what service that you're providing, Squeegee App can really help you to automate the vast majority of things in running a business and keeping track of what's going on. And like I say, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how that we manage our owing list and how we can send reminders to people that are due us money. So let's fire up the computer. We've got the computer ready to rock and roll. So let's jump onto here and I'll bring up on screen what I'm doing so you can see quite clearly what's going on. So let's get into this. Okay, so that is us on to Squeegee app now. Now just to let you know that this is a demo account. So all the information here is made up and fake. So don't worry too much about uh, the Data Protection Act and all that stuff. This is all made up information just so that you know. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, we're here on our demo account on Squeegee app. Now, if you look down the left-hand side of our screen, we've got our menu. So you can see the word overview, day pilot, work planner, multi-planner, and so on. The one we're interested in today is the owing tab. So we'll click on that, which is what we are now looking at. Okay, so these are all the clients that are due us money. And in this case, we can see here, we have 32 customers owing 3,772 pounds. So that's quite a few spondulies that are outstanding. So let's see if we can fix this situation, shall we? So first things first, you can individually contact and have a look at each client by simply clicking on the customer themselves. So let's click on the first one and you'll see that it gives you the total balance that's due. You can record charge credit or record tips from this tab and enter the amount that's been paid. But we want to bulk remind people and also see who's due us in total. So let's have a look. We're gonna have a look at this tab here, which I'll put a little arrow on screen for you so you can keep track of what we're doing. The little magnifying glass, if you want to search for someone specific, this is where you come to do it. So click on the magnifying glass, type in the name of the customer or address, and that will come up for you so you can contact them directly for someone you had specifically in mind. Next along from the spyglass, we have the little gear icon. So we click on the gear icon, we can see a selection of options that we can either tick or untick. The first one saying show active. So all your active customers that you have on your round or route work, this will show up all your active clients. And similarly, underneath that, we have the show inactive. So if you want to show up all the clients that are currently inactive, but are due your money, that's the box that you need to tick. Show perspective, you can tick that box as well. And also, and the last one, only overdue invoices. So if you want to see all the invoices that are maybe past your seven or 14 day or 30 day uh, overdue period, then it will just show the clients that have gone past that 
amount of days. So for us at Mackay Window Cleaning, we have a 14 day payment period. So if I click the only overdue invoices box, it will only show clients that have been due me over 14 days. It won't show me any clients that are due under the 14 day payment period. So that's quite handy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna untick the inactive and prospective, just to give you an idea. So say for instance, we wanted to show just the active clients and the active clients that are overdue, so they've gone past the payment period date, you would need to tick the active box, tick the only overdue invoices box, and then click OK. So there we have, we've still got the same amount because in this case, it's basically all the clients meet all the criteria on our demo account, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So say for instance, this is the people that are active, and this is all the people that are overdue. They've gone past our say 14 day payment period. So that's fine. So what we're gonna do is message them all at the same time. So I'm not having to go out and manually do this, having to knock on doors or manually send emails one by one. I can do it from this section here. So just to the left of our gear icon, you can see a green clock, okay? We're gonna click on that and you'll see the screen that comes up gives you the list of our clients. So you can see you can scroll down and see all of the clients. Now currently they are all ticked at the moment. So if you want to untick them, you can simply deselect the ones perhaps you don't want to send a reminder to. But in our case here, we want to remind them all. And you can also use this box here to untick all of them at the same time, or indeed to select them all at the same time. And then you can just hit the send button. So it's a nice, easy way of reminding all of your clients that are due your money that they are due your money and you would quite like it in your pocket. Now in the settings section on Squeegee app, you can save a default message in there that says something along the lines of, dear customer, just a reminder to let you know that you are due X amount of money. And if you put in the word balance in brackets, Squeegee will work out, obviously, and go by that customer's profile, how much they're due you, and by default, put that into your message. But if you want to learn more about that, that's actually in the settings tab that tells you what tokens that you can use so that Squeegee will use those and put them into your message for you. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, feel free to contact Squeegee if you want to speak to them about it, or again, it's actually in the settings section that will tell you how to do that as well. So there you go folks, the owing tab is a really nice easy way of keeping track of all the clients that are due you cash and then you can remind them in a nice easy and quick and efficient way as opposed to manually having to message them or you know the old school method go around and actually physically knock on doors and this way as well by going into the message tab you can see how you've contacted them, when you contacted them, and indeed if they've, the message has been delivered and read. So that's quite handy as well. So hopefully today's video has been useful for you all about the owing tab and how to use it. Any questions at all, please put them in the comments section below. I'll also leave the information for Squeegee app. So if you want to get in contact with them, you can do that using the information in the description box as well. So hopefully today's video has been useful for you folks. And remember and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely folks in the next video. And remember, keep on squeegee slinging.